A few days ago, I received a request from one of my subscribers. He runs a YouTube channel of his own. You can see his name there. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it, but it's there. It's there. And he asked me to try German planes since I fly so many turn fighters. Now, little does he know, I actually fly German planes quite a lot. So, this one's for you. I fear nothing. I fear no one. Let's go. Let's dance. Let's see if they really have what it takes. Got a couple of Spitfires on the enemy team, which of course is an interesting feeling for me. Because um, usually I am the Spitfire, but right now I'm not, so we'll see how it goes. We're going to climb pretty hard right now, uh, just because obviously if I don't have an energy advantage over the Spitfire, the only other thing I can do is run away. It looks like, like my entire team got shredded, so yeah, this is going to be a tough one, but you know, I'm in the F2 right now. She's not a Spitfire, but she's a decent enough plane. Uh, pretty fast in a straight line. Not as fast as my Mark V, but not bad either. Good rate of climb and a good turn time, to be honest. 18 seconds is not too, too bad. She will be able to dance her way out of some like engagements, but she's really not a turn fighter. That's not what she's for, so need to make sure we're banking that out, getting up there, banking the altitude, pushing anyone who's up down. Very important we push anyone who's up down. Just because I'm so outnumbered now that like if I don't do that I'm screwed. Spitfire is definitely going to be like my last targets. So usually I would target them first but just because they both dive down it sort of makes them not a big deal for me anymore. And like yeah I could dive on them and I might get a hit but they're also probably going to dance their way out. I know that their engines are going to be overheating. There are only like early versions of the Spitfire that are in this BR. There's no Mark Vs or anything like that, so like they are not going to have the same performance as they did at the beginning. Looks like their entire team is low, which is lovely. I was worried about that F6F, but he's he's disappeared somewhere. So first target, first victim, the F4U. Let's jump on him, polish him off. Maybe take a swing at the P-51 as I go by. What's that? The P-39. Up we go. Now nice and easy here. Nice and easy. P-39. She's a really slow turner. So as long as we can survive the initial engagement. We're at just about equal energy even though I wasted some of it diving down. So as long as I can survive the initial break key to that is just not going head on never ever ever go head on in war thunder everyone does it and every single time they do it it always ends exactly the same way you die and you could say well i'm an american plane and i've got armor plates and seven thousand pounds of ammunition and my pilot weighs seven tons and he has more fat than a elephant and he can take it all i'm like yeah sure maybe he can maybe he can or maybe you're going to get unlucky. Really what I'm saying is that you can win head-ons. Like People do win head-ons. People win head-ons all the time. But there's no guarantee. It's not like any other fight where usually as long as you play it well and you know what you're doing, you have a pretty good odds of coming out on top as long as you play it okay. A head-on though? No skill in a head-on. None. Alright, that's splash one. Let's rotate back around. Bank our altitude again. And let's hit them again. See what that Spitfire does. Because quite frankly, it's looking like he's stolen out. did still up and I like missed him horribly because I wasn't expecting him to be so slow. Nice. Nice. There's a couple good hits. Let's see what this Spitfire does again. Got a couple crits on him now. Back up to altitude. Always back up to altitude. Let's do a nice little scan before we do anything else. I got cannon ammo. I'm okay. Alright, let's see what the Spitfire does. 
We're on two kills. Last player alive. Let's go. Let's go. Couple more to get. Remember, it's not over until I'm dead. It's not over until the fat lady sings and I don't hear no singing. Don't need to do that. That F6F looking like a juicy target right now. Jump on him. Polishing him off is a good step. In the right direction at least. Quick scan. We seem to be okay. I think all of the other ones are at their base right now. He's low. He's slow. But Spitfire's going to take a pop. He ain't going to get a shot though. Going a bit too fast for him. Couple hits. Couple hits. Let's roll it back around. Let's do it all again. There's a crit, and there's a fire. He should be done. Not quite, not quite. He saves it, but he's gonna crash no matter what. Alright, Spitfire to go. Two Spitfires to go. Take a run at him, and then I'm gonna bank some altitude. If he does here. You're gonna try head on here. We deny heads on head ons at all times. We deny them. Alright, let's leave. Might just take a swiping shot. Just as I'm going by, might as well. That Spitfire, it holds his speed like crazy. There goes another one. 1v1 now. Now it's just a case of engine power. Who's got the most? Who's got the least? Who can go higher? Who can climb higher? Who's got more speed? That's what we're testing. I'm pretty sure I have the advantage over him in this sort of fight. The real thing is just, you know, trying to take it easy. Trying not to like push too hard, wait for him to accept the uh, like the uh, disadvantage he's at. Once he does that, then we're okay. All right, there's an altitude advantage if I have ever seen one before. We've got more energy than him. We've got a faster engine than him. We've got more ammo than him. We've got cannon ammo still. He definitely doesn't have any cannons. Let's push him low. Let's make him burn some speed. Let's see what we can do. He is just wasting all of his energy. Got nine minutes left. Got ten minutes of fuel, so I'm okay right now. He's taking some pretty insane defensive maneuvers right now. Yeah, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he attempts here. Just all intents and purposes. Technically, I should have. Him dead right but until he runs out of energy and dies that is the strat upgrades oh, 
keep that energy advantage over him. Super important with a Spitfire we do that. Nice hit. Let him go. He's all the way on the deck now. I think he might be done. Yep. He's done. GG's. That's it. Five kills. GG's. Well played. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you fly the BF-109. Only those who asked, asked the credit card, the warrior, the chase, the premium. That's not a war crime, that's just a uh, normal crime. I assume that war crime now though is to use napalm against people, like you can use it against the environment for some reason, but not people. Oh well, yeah, I mean no one wants to like get cooked to that. Yeah, but then why are you cut on people? Well they're not legal, <laughs> They should be, that's just a stupid thing. They story. should be! <laughs> oh, why can't let them just atomize each other in the Should be another one for me. Indeed it is. It's no, it's fine. Oh, right. Kills wise, yeah. Well, kills wise doesn't make me think it's score. So it's not the team player. I'm not a team player. Then we are on 760. I was still alive. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nice, four kills. Buns